Good morning, this is Krisha Young here, and I thought I would record um, a little video about my morning routine that um, really helps set me up for the day. So I'm generally a pretty positive person. Um, I usually default to seeing the beauty in things and uh, seeing the glass half full and, and all that kind of stuff. And also at the same time, I have um, my gorgeous saboteurs and my inner judge and my inner critic, my inner bitch um, stories and I think there's a train going by. <laughs> How rude! Um, and all the rest of it that uh, creep up and can take me out and sometimes they can take me out for a while. And so um, I have a practice that I do every day because my worst time is in the morning. And I never really noticed this until I quit my job um, all those years ago, like in 2015, um, to start my own business. And all of a sudden, I was waking up in the morning feeling miserable, like everything. Like it was like gunk, sewer gunk was coming up in the morning. And I felt awful. I was always like, what is going on? Um, it was every self-hate, every self uh, flagellation, every doubt, every worry, every fear, every everything, every story, I think I said story already, um, came up for me in the morning. And it was really difficult for me to navigate. And I never really kind of, I tried doing things, but my, um, my saboteurs, my, that inner uh, part of me was way stronger than my positive side and so it took many many years of practice for me to um, recreate these neural pathways in my brain which actually is a true thing and um, to the point where mornings still like the thoughts and, and the sensations can still be there um, however I can move through them very quickly now and so um, Right now, my morning routine, and, and we're in the middle of coronavirus, so things might change, maybe not, I don't know, because uh, I started this actually before coronavirus hit. Um, I'll get up and um, I'll just be like super conscious and aware of whatever the thoughts are and then, you know, whatever it is, and then I'll, I'll like kind of meditate on it a little bit. So meditate, what does that mean? I just like breathe. I remember to take some deep breaths and then I, I go into self-inquiry and I say, okay, what is underneath this? Like, what is, what's needing to be seen here? What is, why is this thought coming up? Where is this from? Is this mine? Is this somebody else's? Is this, am I out of integrity somewhere, right? So I'll just like kind of run through, not in a stressful way, but just like what is, what's needing to be seen here? Because usually these thoughts are just, you know, our subconscious, our inner child just going, hey, like, I, I can't be ignored anymore. Like, there's something bothering me and we need to look at it. Um, but it comes out as our saboteur. God, it's so noisy here all of a sudden. <laughs> I love it. Um, and so I do that and then I will haul my ass out of bed. I'll make my coffee. And um, this is when I, when I don't have my kids. So on the days that I have my kids, the routine is slightly different, okay? Um, kind of the same, it's just they're, they're there and with me. Um, and it might take a little bit longer for me to do these things because obviously my, my boys are there with me, right? Um, but on the, on the days that they're with dad, um, this, and today's one of them, so this is my routine today. And I um, will have my coffee and I'll get dressed up into my you know, whatever workout gear and put my running shoes on and I will just leave the house and I'll go for a walk. And where I live right now, um, I can walk all along the waterfront and then uh, come back again. And I have this one spot in this, I found like the two trees downtown Toronto <laughs> and just kind of hang out with them in the morning so that I can get the nature. And um, a lot of the time, not today, um, but most of the time I have my headset on and I'm listening to um, Paul Selig's books. Um, I am uh, I am the word or uh, the book of love and creation um, usually those are the two that I have on rotation that I listen to and it's inspiring and it allows me to 
um, remember that, you know, there's something bigger here than my problems and how to really connect deep into my truth, myself, um, my worth, and, and all of that, right? So it's not, um, it's deeper work than just like saying affirmations or whatever. Like I'm really getting um, um, into the deep subconscious part of my brain to shift how I think and feel about myself and to pour love on myself. Because when I pour love on myself, then I can pour love out into the world and into others. And, um, you know, after a lifetime of living in fear and living in self-loathing and self-hate and, uh, you know, all of that, I don't, I don't want to share that energy anymore um, for myself or for anybody. And it's a great example for my children too, um, to see a consistency in these kinds of practices and a devotion to um, working on loving yourself and, and um, you know, being of service to the world in, in that kind of way. Um, so that's my morning routine. And then I'll, um, I'm going to head back in a minute and I'll like, have a shower or whatever and then I'll just start my day and usually by the time I've left the house and halfway through the walk I've forgotten about all of the the heaviness of whatever it was that I was worried about or thinking about in the morning and I really notice it if I don't do this routine if I um, some days I just let the thoughts be there and just let them <laughs> take me over let the emotional wave tech take me over and take me down um, because something needs to be seen and the only way it can be seen is if that happens and so I'm really practicing not being in resistance of that anymore and allowing that wave to just take me all the way down so that I can see okay what needs to be seen um, healed loved and then go back up my wave again so um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about this is um, emotional authority and human design and about 50% of the population has this so there is a technique on how to navigate this um, if you've got it. So if you're interested in learning more about that, just let me know. But um, yeah, so, you know, it's happiness and, and feeling joy even in times like this is okay. It's, it's okay to feel that, um, you know, I mean, we're all in a mixed bag of feelings right now all over the place. And just because I'm feeling, choosing to feel happy doesn't mean I don't have some serious stuff going on behind the scenes. It just means that um, that, that could potentially like make me rock in a corner and cry all day long. I mean, you know, this is affecting a lot of people in a lot of different ways and I don't think anybody's immune to it. However, I also, for myself, choose to be happy. Um, I spent my whole life being miserable and I don't, I just don't want that anymore. <laughs> What's the point? And so for me, right? And so this is part of my morning routine that I do every single day pretty much. And um, maybe you can take a couple tips from here and start implementing. The point is just doing it consistently. It's a ritual. And doing it consistently is really what's going to help shift those neural pathways in your brain and turn on um, more creativity and inspiration so if you are stuck in a situation right now the worry and the fear and all of that isn't going to help you find a solution for it um if you can shut that off for a little bit for a day whatever and get into something more of gratitude and joy and and what will happen is the creativity will start to flow and you'll start to have ideas and solutions on how you can um, manage or fix or change the situation that you're in and it'll be something that'll um, manifest as way better for you down the line as opposed to it being something that like you knee-jerk reaction go into it in fear and then six months from now you're like shit why did I make that decision right um, this way when you're coming from more of a calm centered happy uh, joyful place within a more grateful place within then um, whatever you create from that space will have that energy attached to it right so this is what this is all about it's not necessarily just in the moment it's also what energy are you tossing into your future right so think about it as a boomerang what do you want to toss into your future do you want to toss more worry more stress more anxiety more upset more uncertainty or do you want to toss into your future more love and more happiness and more joy and 
um, more excitement, more wonderment, more, more love, I think I said that, and more gratitude in your life, right? Um, that's a choice, and it doesn't always feel like it, but it actually is. And um, yeah, so it all starts with just that intention to say, you know what, I, what I wanna toss into my future is, is, is more joy and more happiness, and I really wanna know how my saboteurs are knocking me out so that I can heal them and love myself even more and create you know something even better on this earth than maybe i was creating before um and 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 do it in integrity and do it with love and do it with compassion and passion and all the rest of it so thank you for watching this video sorry it's so long i'm really trying to do shorter videos it's just not working um and i love you all and of course the one finger that the nail fell off is this one so Somebody save me. I need to groom. <laughs> anyway, I love you all and have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye for now.